Hi Sarah, thanks for uploading your pictures. Let's get to work. Okay, um, first things first, just as a, a general overview, it looks like you're doing great, really impressed. Okay, uh, let's look at your focus. Okay, very clear and obvious that we're focused here. The, uh, the corn is closer to us than the pineapple, so we're sharp over here and blurry over here and vice versa. Okay, excellent. Um, in regards to being on a third, this is the third homework. Uh, this is not actually on the third. Um, third would be closer. Let's have a just a, a think. Um, the third would probably be around here. You see, if we were to break this into thirds, something like that. So what we could do is um, to make this actually on the third is if we crop off some of this space over here then we end up actually moving it over so to speak <laughs> um, <clears throat> could be even a drop more actually and now we have our our, uh, our subject on the third remember the subject the, the so to speak the place of the subject is not just like the middle of the subject in this case, the, the the space of the subject would actually be determined by this line, I think, uh, because we actually have, it's it's very interesting to think, because graphically, um, although the middle point of these two books would be something like here, when we actually think about this graphically, and we forget that this is the side of the book, this is just a single blob, okay? So this is, this is the shape that we're actually building our picture around. Um, so this would be around the center of the image, uh, the center of the subject, and that would basically be on the third. Okay, uh, okay. so this is the, the picture that I mentioned to you, so to speak, your bonus picture, to get the triangle um, by bringing in, uh, although it wouldn't look like a triangle, like I understand what you, what you did here. You're creating a triangle, like I mentioned to you, by using something closer to you, making it appear bigger. So that means this triangle only exists from where you are, as opposed to if you were to move in a different direction, you wouldn't see it. Okay, it's fine. If you had gotten in closer and moved this away further, then it would have been a more pronounced triangle. As it is, it's it's kind of a triangle, but it's kind of circular -y. Okay, so if you had gotten closer and this book would have appeared bigger and moved this, uh, whatever this is, further back, then this would have appeared smaller and you would have gotten a stronger triangle. But it's fine, I appreciate the thinking. Good on you, okay. Um, so this is close face, okay. Uh, this is great, I appreciate very much. You've cropped in close here. You've shot in a, uh, in a uh, landscape orientation, which really the truth is works fine here. Um, his hat, I'm assuming this is your husband, his hat is creating a line moving in these directions, which means it's actually quite nice having the space here. If you were to have shot this in a portrait orientation, then um, this this line of his hat, I think, would cause some issues. Um, you've gotten a great exposure. Your pin sharp. Yeah, you've done excellently. This is great. Uh, like we've, I don't know if I mentioned this to you before, but I mentioned this to everyone. It's very important to remember that point of entry with the face is the eyes, and then your eye moves down. Okay, your eye moves down, so it's always good to have a little bit more room at the bottom than it is at the top to have a balanced picture, and you've done that perfectly. Very good. Well, well done. Uh, sensitively, uh, like, um, very. I appreciate your sensitivity to the tensions here. Very good. Okay, um, this is space. Yeah, to space. So you've done two of these pictures. Um, you missed the focus slightly. Okay. And I would leave less room at the top and more room at the bottom. When people start becoming conscious, it's without exception, um, basically. When people start becoming conscious of the idea of getting rid of excess space in pictures, uh, nearly always they end up leaving too much space at the top and not enough space at the bottom. So uh, this could do with a little bit more space at the bottom, but it's, I appreciate very much that the, uh, the energies are moving are moving this way very good very sensitively uh, sensitively seen over there maybe cropping a little closer and i think this would make the image a little bit stronger okay good work that's a nice shot okay and here as well you're going to learn um you're going to learn later um class four 
about uh, bringing your subject far away from the background so you haven't done that here uh, so these rocks end up kind of um, distracting because they're so sharp but you'll work that out in the next few weeks uh, in reality although I'm being positive about these pictures because they are it's there's a lot to be positive about you're gonna look back in about three weeks and think oh my days I can't believe I was taking pictures like that you're gonna there's so many things that you're gonna learn that are just gonna push your photography so much further um, you'll be amazed and you won't be able to look at these pictures like I even now pictures that I took now it's kind of panning out a little bit but um, so evening out a little bit but pictures that I took like three years ago are very difficult uh, especially four years ago I've been shooting now for 15 years four years ago very difficult to look at uh, three years ago I can still see a difference two years ago within the past year and a half or so it's now no, I don't know if there's a tangible difference so much, um, but we're still we're still learning different ideas and different. It's more like tips and tricks nowadays, as opposed to like real fun. For me, as opposed to like fundamental like truths of the image. Um, okay, so so I, pre I appreciate the the tensions here again. Like we said, moving into space, that's great. Um, he looks a little bit like awkward, I think, like bent over like that, uh, but. You definitely got the idea of the tensions moving into space nice one okay this is great excellent be aware of things like this in the background generally um, like fences metal fences don't don't belong in pictures for sure cars never ever belong in pictures and ladders why do I say ladders because at events there's there's generally a ladder or two knocking around very important to make sure they're not in pictures cars unless it's like a gorgeous Ferrari or something like that also keep them out of pictures um, and fences like this generally keep out of pictures there's sometimes a time and a place I don't think it's adding anything here uh, we can see here you've just gotten away with it but the idea of cropping in close uh, you've you you're really getting it just be careful leave a teeny little bit more room on the bottom and you could get rid of a teeny little bit of room on the top but this is a this is something that everybody does and I have to mention to it once mention it to them once or twice and then it gets fixed okay uh, I really I really appreciate this picture excellent excellent very good okay and again another nice shot you've got on your all the stats here look pretty good you've got an um, you've gotten a good sharp focus uh, I would in regards to tensions our point of entry is his face now I think we can crop a little bit off the top something like that okay we're it's actually it's very nicely uh, it's very nicely balanced in that his view is actually looking a little bit this way and his body is moving this way so with the tension coming to this side and the tension coming to this side We've ended up with a uh, with an actual balanced image. Very good, excellent. Okay, so the problem here is uh, is the shadows on his face. The light is is not nice here. Try generally in sunlight, especially when you don't have a flash, which you don't. Um, get to a shady area okay that's the basic rule. Get to a shady area and get your subject uh, covered. Uh, covered by the shade uh, sun shouldn't be on them if you are going to be using the sun it's best to be having the sun from behind your subject so it spills onto their head and creates a nice rim light uh, but but this is a this is not a good place to be taking pictures and you can see he's also squinting as well but the real problem is the shadows uh, all these like messy shadows okay um, this is oh it's the same it's the same place okay okay so I would crop in here a little bit um, maybe I would make it a little bit more dynamic by making it a little bit longer and one more little adjustment just to go with the tensions moving this way okay good shot good shot um, and here this again is the issue with the sun with the light all this light in his face is very uh, I mean just to look at the the shadow this is this is what's known as butterfly lighting but very like over the top butterfly lighting 
when there's a shadow like this under the nose uh, it's not the place to be taking pictures like I said get out of the Sun if you do want to be using the Sun make sure the Sun's coming from behind at this time of day uh, it says on your camera 326 um, but it looks to me like it is more like a little bit earlier than that um, yeah have the Sun coming from behind or get your subject into shade okay so let's have a look what which one should we take into Lyrum I think we're gonna take this one into Lyrum let's see I think we're gonna make this one black and white let's add a let's add some real punch to this picture let's open it in Lyrum okay go to black and white very nice we can bring out here usually the skin tones are in the orange sometimes in the yellow a little bit okay what I really want to do here though is add a lot of clarity I want to I want to add that I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up the contrasts and I'm gonna open up the the highlights on his shirt I need to um, lighten his face a little bit that I'll do with my brush tool and to take away these shadows in his eyes I can use my I think I'll use the blacks here also maybe I'll actually do that by itself one second let's take a new brush now we will just open up the shadows very good okay and I think I want to I'm gonna go for this crazy uh, I want to I want to really bring out the the um, bring out all this texture on these rocks just to add some real energy to this picture so I'm using my clarity tool you see the difference that makes Um, and I think also I'm going to bring out these lines in his shirt a drop just to add a little bit more interest okay so that was great let's just have a look where we went from you're doing really well keep with it um, keep practicing and you will i'm telling you in about two or three weeks going to look back at these pictures and think oh um anyway um but where you where where you're holding right now is an excellent place keep practicing and you're going to see amazing things coming and uh yeah you've got a lot to be proud of okay all the best